Ohio resident and Buckeye football fan Graham Rahal visited familiar territory this Monday when the Newman Haas Lanigan driver climbed into the two-seater with Ohio State football coach Jim Tressel. This is Up to Speed. You know, it was great. I'm sitting there in that car, and we're probably not going real fast, and I'm imagining, you know, 230 miles per hour for three and a half hours. I mean, I can't even imagine what the bodies are of those drivers after those three and a half hours and the amount of time they have to train. I, I can't even imagine going that fast with cars flying by you, walls right next to you, 400,000 people in the stands. Are you kidding me? I'm, no, I'm never going to worry about 100,000 anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's awesome to be here and get a chance to meet Coach Dressel. I mean, uh, obviously, he has got a lot of pressure on his shoulders. You see how many fans Ohio State has, and you see him down in that field, 100-some thousand people looking at him. It's, a, it's cool to just get the chance to meet him. I've admired the Ray Hall family for a long time. I was a young assistant coach when Bobby was coming up through the ranks and living here in Columbus, and, and uh, you know, to meet his son, and uh, you know, it's just, it's neat. My problem is, is all I do is work, but I've had a bucket list for sports things, and I'm gonna add the Indy to my bucket list. I've been to several games, and, uh, and uh, you know, I hope to make it to more uh, this year, but uh, you know, I always try to make the ones that I feel are important. Obviously, every game's important, but Michigan is the most, <laughs> so I'll try to go to that one as much as I can, but uh, you know, it's, it's just, uh, it's great to be here today, and uh, I was trying to promote the Middle Ohio race, but to get a cool opportunity like this, it's exciting. Coach Tressel and his Buckeyes will be pulling for Graham in the O2 McDonald's car when the IndyCar Series visit their backyard at the Mid-Ohio Sports Car Chorus on August 9th. I'm sure there will definitely be some OHIO chants for the youngest winner in IndyCar Series history. But before Graham and the rest of the series can visit Mid-Ohio, they first have to get through a few other races, beginning with this weekend's Iowa Corn Indy 250. Last year, Graham logged a top 10 finish there, but of course, he's looking to improve on that with his OSU fans cheering him on. You can be sure to catch all the race action this Sunday on ABC. This is IndyCar.com. I'm Lauren Bolander, and you're up to speed.